Well, Christmas morning is less than two days away. There's still time to plan a great breakfast. Macy's regional chef Art Lorenz is here to show us how to make one of his favorites. It's so nice to see you back morning. here this morning. Thank you. Good. Thanks. Great. Good to be back. All right. So, what is one of your favorites? What are you making? This is overnight French toast. Oh. Michigan overnight French toast. I don't know about you, but on Christmas morning, I want to spend my time with the family. Yes. As much as I love to cook, I don't want to be in the kitchen. So, this is a dish that we'll make up, wrap up put in the fridge and then about a half hour before people are ready to eat we can take it out pop it in the oven oh, we're done on. my kind of cooking all right it's, so what do we have to do here so we we have our our butter we've got a six tablespoons of butter a little bit of brown sugar built in the bottom of our pan okay i've already layered in the brioche if you would be kind enough to just put in the extracts and spices here so i've got a little vanilla okay a What's little here? almond extract oh, almond. a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon okay and, and then why we, is the brioche so important? Why do you like that the, bread? The brioche because it's a nice, it's a nice rich bread mm -hmm. with egg already in it. It just it soaks up the egg really, really well. Okay. Cinnamon bread works very well for this recipe as well. Hollow would work very well. I wish you guys at home could smell this. Just that little bit All of the, almond extract. It smells incredible. It makes incredible. a huge difference. So we just pour that over. Okay. And then we take our some plumped Michigan dried cherries, and. On Christmas morning, I'll put a little brandy in to the oh, yeah, little we'll brandy add, and hot water. Yeah, just a little a, special treat. You know, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing quite says Christmas like brandy cherries. <laughs> That's right. And then we'll top that with a little bit of almond. Okay. And again, this is all that you're doing this the is night all, before. This is all Christmas Eve after I've gotten home from all the other events that we're at. And now I'm going to wrap that real tight. Okay. I'm going to put it in my refrigerator. I'm going to hold it overnight. Tomorrow morning, I'll pr take it out. Start my oven to preheat for 15 minutes, and while it's preheating, I let this just sit to come up to room temp a little bit, uh -huh. and then pop in the oven about 15 minutes later. And this that's is it. What we have. And what temperature do you put this in the uh, oven? 350 at? degrees. 350. 350. Okay. And then I also saw these little cassolettes in the store. I, I just I absolutely have these love, and them. love them. Yes. Um, and so I made a few up with that because if I don't know what time Uncle Dan and Annie Mae's plane is going to mm -hmm. land, yeah. I can have these in the fridge, and then I hear they're on the way from the airport. I can pop them in. I serve them fresh. And it's like a little gift. The presentation is so beautiful as well. But, All right. So tell us what else you have here that you brought along. Well, I, I brought a little candied bacon to go on there. That's always good. We also have some fruit cup and I want to show you some raspberry dust but first I'll just jump over to our features for January because we're going into uh, we're going to be going the holidays will be over here in a few I know, days in, in the blink of an eye <laughs> and so we will be featuring in our chicken chili which is one of our uh, biggest sellers we're going to be doing it in the restaurant with a muffin and a small mandarin salad okay. a starter mandarin salad and then in the rest in the quick serves we'll have a cup a bowl sorry for the price of a cup with a couple of corn madelines. Oh, it looks Great. delicious. All right, let's get to this dust before this we got to go. This is raspberry dust. This is really a treat. I take a couple of freeze-dried raspberries, right. mortar and pestle. You just crush them up, huh? Just crush them. It's that simple. And you put just them in put a shaker, in a shaker. Sprinkle over the top of the fruit cup. Be generous. <laughs> It adds a little color. Oh, how pretty. It adds color, it adds flavor. flavor, and it's just so simple and easy to do. Well, that's beautiful. Do you do nice this with other uh, berries, too? You can do this with blueberries. There's all kinds of dried fruits out there. You're simply grinding dried fruits and just putting them out Perfect. in another form. Oh, Chef, thank Wonderful. you so much for coming Thanks in. For having you have us, us all salivating <laughs> right now. There you go, Macy's Lakeshore.